Hello and welcome. I'm Mary Don Kislingberry. Today we are going to take a look back at the early days of the Chubb House, the effort to restore this historic building and its current uses. Along the way, we will gain some insight into the early settlers of our community. The Chubb House is named for its builder, Dr. Orville Chubb, a Civil War surgeon who settled in Fairmont taking advantage of the free homestead offered to early settlers by the federal government. Built in 1867, Dr. Chubb used clay from the banks of Buffalo Lake, just north of Fairmont, to make bricks for his Greek revival home. Captain Cheney was hired as the contractor, and Jazz Swearington and William Budd made the brick molds for the home. Dr. Chubb served as the town's only physician and lived in the home with his wife Sarah, daughter Lottie, and son Montier. Overlooking Lake Sisseton, the Chubb House is the oldest surviving brick house in Fairmont. The window casings are angled to maximize the sunlight. Square nails can be seen throughout the house. Horse hair is visible around the outside of the windows where it acts as a moisture barrier between the bricks and wood. Horse hair was also used as a binder in the plaster on the interior walls. The center beam, located in the basement, is solid walnut, as is much of the construction lumber. The foundation is made up of field stone from the banks of the lake and were cemented together by John Dalton, who was a stone cutter who lived to be 100 years old. Over the years, the home has had several owners. In earlier days, it served as an inn, offering overnight lodging to weary travelers. The final occupant used the home as a beauty parlor before the county acquired the property. In 1992, Martin County Commissioners announced plans to remove the house in order to expand the law enforcement center's parking lot. A group of concerned citizens came forward in an effort to save the historic Chubb House from the wrecking ball. The Martin County Preservation Association was formed and the group convinced Martin County Commissioners to spare the property and sell it to their group for $35,000. With a lot of elbow grease and determination, the Martin County Preservation Association went about the process of restoring the neglected property to its 1867 condition. Shortly after the acquisition, it was determined that the roof was in need of repair. Also layers upon layers of wallpaper had to be removed and all the woodwork stripped of paint. The house was refurbished by volunteers who devoted many thousands of hours restoring the property to a historically accurate and pristine condition seen today. The Chubb House has been furnished with period furniture to add to the authenticity. During the 10-year restoration process, the group held many fundraisers. For example, to help fund the handicap accessible entrance, the Martin County Preservation Association sold brick pavers with donor names inscribed on them. As a former treasurer once said, we sold everything that wasn't nailed down to help fund the Chubb House project. With contributions from the Vaughn Estate, the $35,000 loan from the county was repaid prior to completion of the renovation. The Chubb House is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is available for tours which can be scheduled by appointment. Volunteers host the annual Pioneer Stew Supper in the fall and the tea parties during the warmer weather months as well as a Christmas tea. Thank you for joining me as we look back at the history of the Chubb House. The Martin County Preservation Association invites you to join us as we continue to maintain this and other historic buildings in our community.